This is a hip focused block for five minutes. So we're going to start off with some hip cars or controlled articular rotations. Starting in our four point position, the focus here is keeping the hips level and trying to work one rep forwards and then one rep backwards as seen in the video. Nice smooth rotations, just working the hip through the biggest range of movement that we can do whilst keeping the hips level as you can see I'm doing here. Work one leg for 30 seconds, repeat on the other side for 30 seconds. Again, try and keep the movement as smooth as possible. If you haven't moved your hips like this before, there's a chance you might hear some kind of like light rush crispy popping or a bit of crunching. If there's no pain, that's absolutely fine. It's just the joint needing or telling you that it needs to move a little bit more. If you do feel any pain at all here, either let me know, get in touch, or um, just reduce the range of movement a little bit just to see how that feels. And if that deals with it, great. If not, take it further. The next step is some 90 degree internal and external rotation. So set both knees up as I have here, the front leg at 90 degrees and the back leg at 90 degrees. Plant both hands on the floor and try and keep the chest facing forwards. From here, you're going to pivot first about the knee to pull the heel off the floor of the back leg and then you're gonna pivot off the heel to bring the knee off the floor. So hopefully, as you can see, we're working the hip through two different ranges of movement. We're gonna work this again. 30 seconds on each side so once you've done one side rotate across again both feet at 90 degrees and um, with this one you want to have the front leg with the heel in on the knee and the back leg the same coming into the last few reps now the next movement after this we're going to come up into a kneeling position or a half kneeling position and what we're going to do to start with, sit nice and tall, and we're going to tuck our pelvis under to start with. So you'll see me here as I pop one leg up, I'm tucking my hips underneath and I'm pushing my weight forwards over my foot. So the knee's gonna come over the toe and I'm gonna sit back onto my heel, leaning forward. So I'm gonna get a stretch down my hamstring on my right leg in this case, and then through my hip flexor or the front of the left hip. Again, we're going to work nice and smoothly through, smoothly through this for 30 seconds, and then we're going to do the other side. Pay attention to how each side feels. If you feel any pain in the knee or the hip, just make a mental note of it, slow the movement down, and stop before you feel any pain. It's just an indication that we might have a bit of tightness around the knee joint, or it might be something that needs to be looked into potentially as you continue, um, just so that we know what's going on. Um, the aim of all of these movements is to just move really smoothly there, both great for developing mobility but also for using as an indicator of any potential joint issues or tightnesses left versus right if there's any differences. Our next exercise is going to be 60 seconds of Cossack squats. So as you can see here I'm moving from side to side keeping the heel of the bending leg on the floor as well as the foot and you'll feel a stretch on the inside of the long leg here. Try and keep the chest as tall as you can and drop as low as you can into the bottom position. If you can't get as low as me, don't worry. Go as low as you can whilst keeping good form and then just try and improve that range over time with each rep. Try and keep it nice and smooth. You've got two options. As you can see here in the second half, I'm rotating my long foot up. So I'm gonna just change where the stretch is getting me rather than the inside of the leg. It's gonna be slightly more underneath. This just gives us an option so that we can get a few more joint angles working and again, improve mobility through greater range. Again, if you have any issues with any of these, please do let me know and I'll be able to explain it to you in more detail. We're gonna come on next to our curtsy lunges. So standing up nice and tall, we're gonna take one foot behind the other, drop it down to the floor again, try and keep the knee, as you can see, as vertical as we can, so almost over the foot. We don't want too much stress to go through the knee at a funny angle. What we're trying to do is get the back foot across so you should be able to stretch the outside of the hip on the planted leg. Nice and smoothly again, try and get the biggest range of movement you can. Paying attention to if you feel any differences in your left or right side, thinking ankles, knees, hips, is there any pain, any tightness, anything like that. Something that we might need to work on a little bit more. If not, brilliant, just keep working through. These will be quite hard, the Cossacks and these quite a challenging movement but really good for the hips and actually building some strength as well so it's a win-win there.